Hello, friends, and welcome to Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs Podcast with Troidal Power Vault of Stars. We're going to be checking out Vault of Stars today, which is a, a game on the quest. We're going to turn on subtitles. We don't need the vignette. Objective markers, I think that's fine. Um, let's hit play. Grab light with either hand. All right, I'll just grab this mode of light. Wake, child. Okay. Hold grip trigger near your body. Push in the direction that you want to travel. Release grip to stop. Oh, okay. Cool. Grab light with either hand. That's a cool feeling. It feels like you're pulling yourself through space. the last star okay flying through the stars three pound games it says I see there's a point of light ahead of me I'm assuming I'm traveling to that Ooh. there is a darkness that consumes us always hungry ever present so there's like a galaxy with like weird dark dark Devoid. lights circling around whoa lots of darkness hey very uh adventures on bureau of balance is immediately what's that making me but think the of light drives back the darkness and so has come together a seed takes hold spanning space and there's a tree growing in front of me wow that's so pretty the Guardians were born to create a barrier against the Void. There's like sigils. This one's a moose. There's a hawk but down there. Nothing about the darkness growing within. Humanity came, seeking oh, here's power, a ship. longing for paradise, and brought the Void with them. Lots of ships coming in towards the big tree. Gar the Guardians fought the Void, but the task was too great. One by one, oh no. they fell to the shadows. They're all turning black, purple and then black. In a final effort, they gave their power to create a champion. There's a glowing light at the top of the tree now. Only you can resist the void. Ooh, the light shot into me. Only you can renew the light. Only you. Can restore the oh no, the sigils that was at the top just fell and destroyed the tree. Life, or let the light fade forever. Wow. Okay. There's like a portal above me. Oh, I can fly. <laughs> there we go. Let's go into this portal. Go into the light. Okay. Ooh, there's a bird. Greetings, child. So there's an instruction here that says to fly, hold the grip trigger, and then move the control in the direction you want to go. To fly, or the further from the point you grab, the faster you will go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already knew that. Mount Apar, peace of sky, peace of soul. Motes make you stronger. Oh, motes make me stronger. This is a piece of the energy that makes up everything. You, this world, even us. It is also what gives life to the living. So there's a thing that says, beware the water of souls is an entrance to the death plane. So I guess stepping in water will kill me. And then there's a thing that says, Ooh, I can shoot. Infuse with power. Um, Touch, shoot. So there's a little froggy that's like a shadow creature, and it says, touch to restore, shoot to destroy. I'm going to touch him. Yeah. Yeah, I brought the little froggy back to life, but I'm going to shoot that little froggy. It's totally something in behind that uh, bush. All right. Power stones left. 
requires Soul Essence to activate after collecting Soul Essence, touch or shoot the Power Stone to view it. Hey, we open the door. When he opens, follow. So, what this kind of gives me vibes of right away is it's kind of like a 3D platformer. Like, I'm exploring a 3D environment and collecting these motes of light to gain energy. Except you explore by just flying around. Danger. Shadows. Shoot. Ooh. Okay, these things shoot at me. Okay, now this has become a 3D aerial first-person shooter. All right. Took out the shadow mods. Very cool. Infuse. Bring light. Shoot. Infuse. Bring light. Shoot. Make up your mind, dude. There's a big tree here. Light beams. These crystals can focus in direct light. Grab the control point to aim them. So let's grab this crystal. Oop, too far. So I have to grab it back here. Ah. I don't understand what that's saying. Do I have to infuse it first? No. So the problem is that the grab button is the same as my fly button. So as I'm trying to grab this thing, I keep just moving myself around. Is this where I grab it? Down here? I don't understand what this wants me to do. These crystals can focus in direct light. Oh, maybe I have to infuse that thing over there first. Bam. That didn't work. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. But I also think there's a light up in the sky. And there was one over here somewhere, because there's like a floating rock in the sky we're going to fly up to. Oh, uh, we're going to go here later, because there's more of those crystals. Okay. So let's go over to this thing, which I think I need to shoot first. Oh, pow! There we go. Now... Grab light. Direct. Okay. So now... Connect the beams. Create the That power. crystal has, like, a handle on the back of it that I can grab onto floating in the sky. So before, it was just an inert black crystal. But then, I zap some energy into it, and then I can aim it around. Wow, this game's cool. We form the patterns. Okay. Void dislikes order. Scorns the light. World is broken. Can still be set right. Okay. Okay, elemental orbs. These orbs contain concentrated elemental power. Vessels hold elemental energy. In this one, light. Reach in and retrieve energy within. Carry with and power into vessels. Oh, okay. So I'm bringing, I'm, I'm, I'm stretching a line from there to here, I think. Yeah. That shoots a beam of energy into here. The islands contain many elements. The lasers can hold all. Store these embracers. Carry much energy. Oh, this is one we grab onto. I guess we're gonna go up to that ring. So we're pulling the line behind us. Ignite all stones. Create the link. How do I ignite all of them? I can't grab it out again. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. There's okay. So there's three stones I have to light up, but there are three points 
where I can grab energy from. Oops. So you reach towards where you want to go, which keeps tripping me up a little bit because I feel like I'm grabbing and pulling myself. Like that's how I want to aim is like reach towards where I want to go, grab and then pull myself forward. I need to remember that my hand is like a rocket pack. Okay, we opened a gate. Flying through. Woo. Okay. Okay. There's a big construct. Um. Construct of yeah, stone. Yeah, construct of stone. Touch crystal. Enter. Control. Construct controls. Move, uh, grab, use left stick to move. Constructs can grab and use physical objects. To exit a construct, press uh, an A or X button to recall construct. Shoot the power stone. Okay, so. So I've turned it on, but I think I need to bring energy over to it before I can use it, maybe? I'm gonna have to walk it all the way down there, clearly. There's like a maze I'm gonna have to walk it through. Well, it's not a maze, it's just a straight path. But how do I actually use the thing? Okay. Do I just fly into it? No, that did not do it. Oh, I just have to shoot these these little nubbins a lot. Oh, okay. Now I'm a big man. Raw. I have big rock band hands. Okay. Um, only the construct can interact with physical objects like buttons. Push the button. That lowered a wall. Now we're going to walk down that path. Bring walking stones. Bring walking stones. I assume he means these big vases, which I'm now holding. <laughs> Urns, maybe, is more appropriate than big vases. Um, but I do want to get that mode of light that's up these stairs. See the path. See your path. I do see my path. Like armor. Construct protects. There's, there's those things that shoot at me here. Um, smash, destroy. Smash with your fists. Ah! So I didn't need to carry those jars. I just need to carry my fists. Strong hands. Can lift, move heavy things. Okay. Build, restore, hey. place, complete. Go away, boats. Okay, so we're gonna go pick up a ball. And we're gonna go throw it in there. Ready? One. Ooh, I can see my body. Two. Three. Whoa. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Oh, it did. So there, <laughs> there's a big circular thing, and I thought the ball was supposed to go in there, and then to the left is a pedestal with an identical ball on it, and the right is a pedestal with, like, a shadowy ghost of a ball. So it does not go in there. It goes over there, so we're just gonna try and, uh, just gonna pick it up. Try and go. Whoa. Very heavy. Okay, we'll just put it in there instead of trying to throw it in. Come onward. Mark your place in world. Okay. Lost construct shoot to bring it home. Forth. Restore the patterns placed by the guardians. Bring walking stones to activate, shoot power stone to recall. Oh, I'm getting shot at again. Okay. So I have to find walking stones. Or is, is this the walking stone? Come out of here. I'm going to grab you. Oops. I flew out of my big robot body. I didn't actually mean to do that. Can I... Can I... Okay, so yeah, he just flies over there now. Cool. 
All right. Let's charge him back up. Yeah. All right. Go up this hill as a big robot. Some more gems to smash. And is there anything over here? There's most of light up above. Ooh, a tree just lit up glowing. Jumping down a cliff. Um. Oh, what's that? That's like a, a void crystal. Touch void crystals to infuse requires three months of power to destroy the closed rift. Stop. Stop shooting me. Oh, things are coming through the void crystal, I see. So I need to touch it. To, yeah, get rid of the rift. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So it looks like there's going to be a combination of things I need to interact with in the physical world, which I'll use my robot body for, and things I interact with in the ethereal world. Oh, there's a cave down there. I didn't see the cave. Um, so the game's going to be kind of using... Oh, okay, so see, like, I just lit up a thing that shoots out a light. But there's a crystal in the way, so I need to bring my robot body over here to break the crystal so that the light can get through. Um, this game's really cool. This is a very cool use of VR. It feels really good to move around. I did just get really queasy, so I do kind of mostly have my eyes closed right now. Um, I'm like looking and then closing them again. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up this first impressions video now. Um, but this is very cool and very pretty and very chills music. There's a hawk friend, a crow friend, that's just flying around everywhere you go. He flies through you. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Nope, I'm gonna stop now. Eyes closed. Hey, friends, thanks for listening to Turtle Power Presents, the Power Playthroughs podcast with Turtle Power. I've been your host, Turtle Power, and this is the podcast where you can get the... where we play games in a powerful... I'm so... Okay, I gotta be done. Uh, until next time, tap in, hope for the best. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at Probably Work for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.